New Visions has been a part of my life since I was a young girl. I grew up in a very, very poor family um, where um, my dad was gone and my mom was an addict. I've been on my own since I was about 13. Um, I had my first child at 14. Kind of went from there. I had four kids by the time I was 23 and found myself struggling alone. I became addicted to methamphetamine and I lost my world. I lost my home. I lost my kids. I lost myself. Um, I was homeless um, for a period of about five years, struggling with addiction and just trying to find my place again. I came to Council Bluffs in a roundabout way. I spent five and a half years in a prison in Florida and it was drug related. And then four months later, I moved into here. And I've been here ever since. And I'm going, this is going on my ninth year. September of 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. So it was really even more difficult to find work. And she offered me a position here as some shelter help um, during COVID. And it has blossomed into something amazing. <laughs> amazing for me. I feel it's amazing for our guests here at the shelter. I feel so, I don't know. I don't know the words. <laughs> So special to be able to be here and give back. This is my support system. This is my family. These are the people I love and the people that love me. And I'm very happy here. Very happy. And I also get to help um, when I work at the desk. The gentleman from the shelter come over and they see, look, she was, she was an addict. And look at her now. <clears throat> 15 years later, she's clean. And she's got an apartment. And... She's happy and for the most part healthy and, you know, um, so it's, and they come back to talk to me too. Tell them if you guys are having a hard time, come talk to me. I know about it. I know how that addiction is. And I've been able to help many, many of the men out there. Because every single one of my guys in my shelter deserves a warm place, deserves a meal, deserves to have dry feet, and deserves to feel like they're important and that they're loved. And that's something I really feel like everybody who works here is very focused on letting these guys know that they are somebody, that they're that they're somebody and they deserve. Mm -hmm.